when I was learning to be a coach in such an interesting time, and of course we're still learning to be coaches, you're always learning, it, I gradually realised that we develop our own coaching way of being, we develop our own coaching style, and each of us is different. And I'm particularly interested, one of the interests I've really got is how can I help the person I'm working with to do their absolute best thinking? What can I do? How can I be that means that it's better for that person to work with me than to just work on their own? And I was introduced to the work of Nancy Klein Time to Think. This is Nancy's book, Time to Think, which is 20 years old now, but a classic in my view, and has been really inspir inspirational in the way I work as a coach and in my reflection of coaching as a discipline. And among other things, Nancy talks about 10 components, 10 things that we can do, that we can do 10 behaviours that we can display that help the other person, our thinking partner, our coachee, to do their very best thinking. So for example, one of them is attention, which she describes as listening with respect, interest and fascination. So if I'm your coach, that's my role, to listen with interest and fascination and respect and to demonstrate that to you and so that you know that I am not going to interrupt you and as a result my intention and my hope is that because you know that and we've contracted for that that your thinking will be able to go places that it wouldn't otherwise go and related to that I think is another component which is that of ease how can we create as partners in the coaching relationship that with me leading that relationship, how can we, how can I create ease, this lack of urgency, freedom from rush or urgency, so that even if there is something that's very important and urgent to think about and to discuss and to find a solution to, there still is an underlying sense of ease that helps your thinking. There's lots of people that know a great deal more about the thinking environment than I do, um, but that's what makes it so interesting. I really enjoy learning about it, and it's so complementary to all the other learning that we do as coaches, in my experience. So just getting back to what we were talking about earlier, our responsibilities as coaches to help our partner to think really well. What else could we do? What do you think?